Hi, my name is Dara Feldman, and I'm a trainer and evaluator for Character.org. So, you're curious as to whether or not your school is ready to apply to become a National School of Character. We're hoping that this short video will help you discern whether you are indeed ready to apply, or perhaps whether you may benefit from taking advantage of some of our ongoing professional development. So the first question is, have you downloaded the 11 Principles of Effective Character Education Blue Booklet? Have you and your school community gone through each of those principles and the indicators that are outlined in the booklet? If you have, then probably you've gone through the 11th principle, which is all about evaluation, and you've discerned whether or not you're strong in all areas in that booklet. If not, that's a great place to start, is to take your school community through the evaluation process at a high level to read through the booklet and decide where you are, score yourself to see what principles you're strong in and what principles you can benefit from strengthening and then choose one as that focus for this coming school year. That will really get you on your journey. If after you do that you decide that you'd like some more professional development or even if you're all ready to apply, we invite you to join us in Atlanta October 15th to 17th for our National Forum. There you'll be inspired by our experts, our National Schools of Character presenters, and other character education presenters as well. You'll walk away being connected with new friends, people of like minds and like hearts, and you'll have new skills, strategies, and resources to take your character education program to the next level. Now, I did just say program, but it's really a process or a philosophy, and the 11 principles is a framework. So, moving forward, you've downloaded the 11 principles, perhaps you've joined us at the forum, and you're still not sure you're ready. We invite you to participate online with us on some professional development webinars, or you might even want to invite one of our trainers to come and do an in-depth professional development on-site around the 11 principles of effective character education. All right, I know some of you are chomping at the bit and you're like, no, 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 we are ready to rock and roll. You've been doing 11 principles for several years. You feel very confident in how you're doing your character education. You're seeing growth, not just in character, but in academics, in discipline, in attendance, etc. And you're ready, ready to apply. That's wonderful. Then here's a tip on how to apply and write your application. I had the honor of working with one of our National Schools of Character Award winners, actually from 2012, Rodians College. And what they did is they pulled together a team of heterogeneous stakeholders and they put 11 posters up along the walls. And each of the posters had the indicators from the 11 principles booklets. They talked about it, we did a deep dive into each of the principles, and then they went back to their classrooms, they went into their electronic files, they went into the actual boxes of artifacts they had been collecting over the years, and they looked for artifacts that supported the evidence in each of the indicators. They also brainstormed together and in small groups some examples of what each of those principles looked like coming to life in their own school. After spending a day going through looking for the artifacts, really getting bullet items, they brought everyone back to a group and they started talking and sharing and they identified and discerned which artifacts they would use and what bullet points they would elevate in the application. Then they chose one person to basically be the author of the application. So it seemed like a seamless integration and one voice. That person went back, they developed the first draft of their application, and then they came back and shared it with the staff. And the staff helped to edit and rewrite. And then they submitted and they actually were honored as a National School of Character. And what was really wonderful, in addition to all of the great things that they were doing at their school, this was the first school outside of our mainland, and actually English was their second language. 
So if you're ready to write or if you're considering being part of the process, we encourage you to make physical boxes or buckets for each of the principles. That you go on your computer and a shared drive, create folders that are named each of the principles and you start gathering your evidence. And then if you discern that you're not ready to apply this year, What's really great is you have that foundation, you have that baseline, and you have the organizational structure so that you can continue to modify, bring in resources, modify some of the resources that you've created already, and dig more deeply so that you can enhance at least one principle or two principles a year until you're ready to apply. So just to recap, first thing, Download that 11 Principles of Effective Character Education Blue Brooklet. Look at it. Make sure that you're strong in understanding and living those 11 principles. If you want a little extra boost in inspiration and ideas, join us at the forum. Or see us online and participate in one of our webinars. Or invite us to do some professional development. And it's wonderful that you're interested in becoming a National School of Character. But just remember, it really is the journey that character education is the plate. It's the foundation of all we do. So wherever you are, keep it up, and we wish you much joy, meaning, and purpose along the way.